The next part of the shifting system you'll want to check is the rear derailleur itself. The rear derailleur is made up of the parallelogram, as you read, and the spring. And there are two limit screws here, a high and a low, that keep the chain from moving too far off the cassette into the frame or off the cassette into the spokes. So what you want to do first is make sure the bike is shifted into the smallest cog here on the cassette, or the high gear, and then go ahead and loosen the screw here that holds the cable tight. Once that's there, the derailleur will naturally just rest with the spring as far this way as it can. And what you'll want to make sure to look for is that the jockey wheel is lined up with the small cog here. So you can kind of just look from the top and see if it's lined up. If it's not lined up, put your screwdriver into the limit screw labeled H for high and tighten or loosen it to, and you'll see it move back and forth. Once you've got that lined up, what I usually do is pedal the bike and just push the derailleur up with my fingers and then hold the pressure here. And that'll shift it up into your low gear, which is the largest cog on the cassette. And again, you'll do that vertical check from here to here to make sure they're lined up and use that screwdriver to turn your limit screw labeled L here. And once you're done lining that up, just let go of the derailleur pedal your bike and that will return it to here and then go ahead and grab your cable and pull it tightly with your fingers and tighten that cable back up with your five millimeter allen wrench and that is how you keep your chain from falling off into the spokes and you having to stop your bike and pull it out of there and get your fingers all greasy.